Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add email subscription to Google Sites. The platform that we are going to be using is beginner friendly and it is also completely free. The first thing you will need to do is go onto sites.google.com as you can see right here. Once on Google Sites, you are going to select the template that you would like to use. After you have selected the template, what I want you to do next is go onto MailChimp.com and with MailChimp.com you'll be able to create an email subscription or a newsletter for completely free as a complete beginner. All you'll need to do is tap on sign up. Once you have tapped on sign up from there you'll be able to enter your email address, create a password and also answer some basic questions. And I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And this is the home page as you can see right here. Once on the home page, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Once on the left hand menu option, what you are going to do for me is you are going to tap right where you see sign up forms. You are going to tap on that. Once you have tapped on that, and by the way, the main heading would be audience. So you are going to tap on audience. Then you are going to select sign up forms. After you have selected sign up forms, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you have a few options. You can either select whether you would like it to be a pop up. So a subscribe pop up icon will come up or you can choose whether you'd like it to be an embedded form. For this example, I will show you how to create an embedded form. So we are going to simply tap on select. Once you have tapped on select, you will be redirected to this page and you can see how the basic form looks. If you would like to add more fields to it or more questions, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap on form fields and then from there if you would like to also ask for the person's first name you could do that all you have to do is simply toggle on first name and you can see that it has been added right there if you'd like to ask for last name you can also do that if you'd like to ask for address or phone number all you have to do is simply toggle on the option and also to move it up all you have to do is tap on the six dots. So let's say, for example, I would like to ask for their first name first. All I would have to do is simply tap on it and drag and place it as you can see right there. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. After tapping on continue, all you'll need to do now is tap on copy code. Once you have copied the code, you are going to go back into your Google Sites website and let's say I would like to add it onto this page. All I would need to do is go over to the right hand menu option, tap on embed. Then I'm going to select embed code and you are going to paste the code that you have copied. Then you are going to tap on next. Once you have tapped on next, you are going to see a preview. Then you are going to tap on next again. And you can see right here that the form has been added and you can also adjust the size by simply pulling along the right hand corner right there. So you can see how it looks right now. Just give it a few seconds to load up as you can see right here. So from here, a visitor will be able to enter their first name, email address, phone number, then tap on subscribe. So that is how to add email subscription and also if you wanted to add a pop-up it would basically be the same thing but instead of using embedded form let's say for example we were to go back so let's go back real quick instead of selected embedded form let's say when we selected sign up we selected pop-up instead let me do that real quick so I'll tap on sign up forms again from the left hand menu option then all I would have to do is scroll down and I'm going to select subscriber pop-up 
once you have selected subscriber pop-up again you'll be able to edit